Hi, good afternoon. Today, I'm going to show you how to create simple parametric dining table. Let's get started. I'm going to make exactly something like this in this picture. So let's move to Revit and click uh, uh, Family Template. And I'm going to choose metallic furniture and click open first of all I'm going to add a few reference plane and hit escape key a couple of times and click uh, dimension 2 and uh, left click 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 and click equal and uh, click 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 okay and hit escape key a couple of times and click this dimension and click this create parameter tag. I'm going to name the parameter W and click OK. And I'm going to set the width uh, with uh, 2000 temporary. And click dimension 2 again and put the dimension this side as well. Hit it, get key a couple of times and click this one and click parameter properties and let's name D which means steps and click OK. And I'm going to set the dimension with 1000 at the moment. Okay, let's move to uh, front elevation. So I also uh, I'm going to put the reference plane and put the dimension and to escape a couple of times and click this dimension and click this create parameter icon and I name it H which means height and click OK and I am going to check uh, the size of the height is uh, 760 so 760 hit ok and I'm uh, going back to full plans so what I'm going to do is to uh, create uh, four legs first so click this one and rectangle and from here to I'm going to make it with a hundred square and the top of the level is uh, 660 and hit enter and click OK and let's check with 3D view okay, there is one one left so go back to flat plans and I'm going to mirror it
and uh, do it again. Let me do it again. Okay, hit escape a couple of times. Uh, let's check with 3D view. And choose four legs and uh, let's uh, set a material. Click this material tab and this, and this button. So I'm going to create a new one, create a new material and right click, rename it. I'm going to make it SUS, which means SAS, stainless. So to enter and uh, hit appearance tab and click this one. I am going to choose, well, let's search the world with 10 less. Well, okay. It looks nice, so I'm going to choose this one. Double click it and close. And click this duplicate button. And then hit OK. Okay, so I'm going to do again. So click this one and choose this one and OK. So now, as you can see, the material is uh, just set. OK. Let's move to front. And I'm going to create the top. So from up, up, so click this rectangle and from here to here and uh, I'm going to click align, align tab and click this one and click then and click this. Uh, lock icon. Okay. And uh, I am going to extend with a thousand and click enter and click OK. And let's go back to floor plan. Well, the top, t uh, the top is uh, a little uh, 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 need to be adjusted, so click this icon and uh, drag and drop and uh, up to here and then lock it and also bottom side also move, adjust it and lock it. Okay, let's check with 3D view again. And I'm going to choose this one and choose material and stainless. Okay. Well, it seems okay. So let's uh, compare with the picture. Yes, it's almost done. In the end, I'm going to put a uh, glass on the top. The thickness is only 5 millimeter. So let's go back to Revit and go to uh, go to front. So uh, click Create tab and F F2 
B jump and rectangle well let's get the a couple of times and I move a little up above and align tab click this and uh, click this and lock it and uh, it escaped a couple of times and click measure uh, click this dimension and from here to here 45 so let's change with uh, only 5 millimeter okay it looks okay so it's finish mode so let's check with full apply again so uh, adjust and lock adjust lock and choose the material okay let's uh, choose this glass material and click ok okay let's check how the parameter works so move to 3d view again and click this family type Okay, I'm going to change it with 2000 and hit apply. As you can see, the, the object uh, follows the dimension. It works well. Okay, let's change uh, as the material. Okay, let's change. 1500 apply oops it's not uh, it's not working well so I'm going to fix it 760 again and hit apply okay I'm going to check with I put a thousand hit apply well it seems that the bottom of the top, top the bottom of the object uh, didn't follow the top so 760 I'm going to fix it go back to front view on the right click the reference plane and create similar and put from here to here and uh, put the dimension from here to here a hundred and lock it And this one move a little bit. Oops, cancel it. And lock it. Now let's check it again. A thousand. 
2,000 and 1,500 apply so this time the left star didn't follow the top of the counter so what I'm going to do is align it click here and click and lock it and do the same lock it here to here Lock it. Okay, let's check again. Let's apply. Two two zero zero. Apply. Two five zero zero apply. Okay, it looks nice. So I'm going to make three types of uh, the table. So click this one, new type, and I name I name it type one and click OK. And I'm going to click again and type two and OK and type three OK. So now type two, I'm going to change it to two zero zero. Hit apply and type three to four zero zero. Hit apply. Okay, let's load into a project. So click file and create a new and a new project. Choose architecture template and okay. And I'm going to make a simple room and. Uh, Okay. Okay, so hit this icon and click here. Now you can choose three type of it uh, that I have just created. So, okay, next is type three. Okay, let's check with three DB. There are three dining table. And I I have render it and the image is like this, so it's it's almost the same as the original one. Okay, that's all about this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.